You join me at a tumultuous time. Hrothgar were announced recently at the Tokyo Fan Festival, and my anticipation has led to me directly contacting Yoshi P himself, gaining exclusive access to Hrothgar. I'm not even kidding. So this will be the first time ever that Hrothgar gets screen time on YouTube, besides the trailer for the race, of course. So here we are, character creation for the long-awaited Catman race. Who needs gender options when you have fur? It would probably only disguise such genetic differences anyway. Pfft, I say to that, let's make us a Catman. When it comes to making Hrothgar, you have to ensure that you keep Kamari in mind at all times. For the closest you get to the Blue Mountain Boy, ultimately the better your chances of being respected by the general community will be. So how blue can we make this beast? Admittedly not especially blue. Well, perhaps that will be future DLC for the Mog Station. Let's call it Ronso Blue Dye. Easy marketing right there. As for the tail, it needs to shout lion. Not that tails could conceivably use vocal inflections, but it definitely has to shout rawr at you when you see it. Yes, that seems to work perfectly. What a swishy boy. So whilst I'm allowed to show a small portion of the demo area that Yoshi Boy has given to me, it's also worth noting that this is by no means the final product, and I would expect it to look drastically different from this. But then, this bright atmosphere here is truly what a game world looks like when it's bathed in unnatural light. It's quite sickening to stare at for too long. In general, I do like the models for this new race, they are much hairier than the initial concept shots they showed at FanFest, and like Yoshi P said, they do now have a fur engine in Division 5, which I presume works a little like a candy floss machine, i.e. you place the naked cat inside, and boom, it comes out with lots of fur. Pure perfection. Wait, what do you mean I launched the wrong executable? Oh.